and hold it. And that is why man was created to be a vice student to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Qala Rabbu Karil Malaika Tainni Jailun Fil Arbi Khalifa. The vice student. So actually man before the roof was blown into him, he was unjust foolish. He was just an animal. Before this blowing of the Spirit of Allah, فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجَدِينَ Twice these words have appeared in Quran, in Surah Al-Hijr, in Surah Al-Saad. So when I have fashioned him fully and, you know, given all the finishing touches to him, and then when I blow into him from my own ruh, وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجَدِينَ then you shall fall down before him in prostration. فَسَجَدَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ كُلُّهُ مَجْمَعُونَ These words also appear twice in Quran. All the angels prostrated before him. So actually this was this ruh which could be taken by self, by man only and none else. Before that he was an animal. He was not a human being. And as a, an animal, when Allah says, خُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَةً there are two extreme things about man in Quran. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ التَّقْوِينَ We have created, you know, man in the best fashion, best way. But on the other hand, خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانُ مِنْ عَجَلِ خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا كَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانُ مِنْ عَجَلِ All these things are there. So why? How do you reconcile? The human being before getting the spirit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was weak, was ajula, was haluwa, in the lishana kala haluwa, haluwa ajula, and he was made out of ajul. All these things were there. But when this ruh was inspired or instilled into him, then he became highest of the highest, higher than the highest. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ أَحْسَنِ سُبَرْ نَيْتِرْ دِگْرِي Then we sent him down to the lowest. Without ruh is the lowest. With ruh is the highest. So this is what I think. So that is why I have translated in the Hukana Zaluman Jahula, surely he was unjust and foolish. Not after receiving the spirit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these words are not applicable to him. لَيُعَزُّبَ اللَّهُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ The end would have been in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What would be the end of all this? Why He created this? Why this creation of life and death? خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لَيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا The end would be لَيُعَزُّبَ اللَّهُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ وَالْمُشْرِكَاتِ So that Allah should chastise those women who were hypocrite and men who were hypocrite, and those men who were associated with Allah, false gods, and those women who were associated with Allah, false gods, and that Allah should lean and relent towards the believing men and women. And verily Allah is forgiving, merciful. Now we come to a pair of the surahs which both start with the words Alhamdulillah. Surah Sabah and Surah Fatif, a pair, beautiful pair. And I pointed out earlier also, this is something interesting. With Alhamdulillah, Surah Al-Fatiha, beginning of the first part. Again with Alhamdulillah, Surah Al-An'am, in the eighth part, after seven parts. الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور. Then again a gap of seven parts of Quran and we find another الحمد لله in سورة كهف. الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له إيجاد. Then again a gap of exactly seven parts of Quran. Again we have سورة السبع and here there are two سورة السبع and سورة الفاتر الحمد لله. Now these are facts and figures. What, what is the connotation? I can't say. But maybe if these statistics are kept in front, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometime, you know, gives you some light that this is the reason why, you know, this Alhamdulillah, these kalimat have been 
ریپیٹڈ ان قرآن وت دس سیکوینس واللہ اعلم الحمدللہ الذی له ما فی السماوات و ما فی الارض اول پریز بی ٹو اللہ اور بلونگز ٹو اللہ تو ہم بلونگز وٹ ایور از ان دی ہیونز اینڈ وٹ ایور از ان دی ارتھ وله الحمد فی الاخرہ اینڈ فار ہم ایکسکلوسیولی ول بی دی پریز ان دی ہیر افٹر ان دس ورلڈ ادرز ار السو پریزڈ کنگز ار پریزڈ اینڈ پریزیڈنٹس ار پریزڈ اینڈ یو نو ایڈریسز اف ویلکم ار گیون اینڈ سو فور اینڈ سو آن But in Akhira, the only one will be praised and he will be Allah. Well, I will hamdu filah, exclusive. Wa huwa al-hakim al-khabir. And he is the wise, the aware. Ya alamu ma yaliju fil nard. He knows whatever enters into the, into the earth. Wa ma yakhruju minha. And what comes out from it. Wa ma yandhulu minas sama. And whatsoever is coming down from the skies, from the heaven. Wa ma yaruju fiha. And whatever is ascending into it, Bahuwa Rahim al Ghafur, and He is the Merciful, the Forgiver. Wa Qala al Ladina Kafaru la Taati Nasa. These believers are claiming that no hour is going to come over us, no hour, no Qiyamah, no Resurrection, no Akhirah, nothing of this sort. Ul Bala wa Rabbi la Taati Yannakum. Say why not? I swear by my Lord. That hour will definitely come over you. Ali Milrayb, I swear by my Lord, who is the knower of all the unseen. La yazubu anhu miskalu zaratin. Not even anything equal to the atom's weight is escapes his notice. Neither in the heavens, in samawat, wala filla, nor in the earth. Wala asgaro min zalika. And there is nothing smaller than that. Wala akbaro. And nothing. Greater than that, illa fi kitabim mubin, except that everything is written in the book, clear book. The yezi al ladin amanu amal swala, so that Allah should reward those who come to believe and do good deeds. Ulai ka lahum makfiratu wa rizqul karim. They will be the ones for whom there will be forgiveness and there will be generous provision. Wa ladin saufi ayatina muajizin. As for those who are striving against our revelations. To defeat them, Ulai kalahum azabu wa rizim min the mid region alim. For them there is a chastisement, painful scourge and torment. Wa yaral ladina utul ilm al ladhi unzila ilayka min rabbi ka hu al haq. And those who were given knowledge, they see that whatever has been revealed to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it is truth. Just like the people from Abyssinia, just like Najashi, just like Abdul Salam. Abdullah ibn Salam, رضي الله تعالى عنه. ويرى الذين أُطُلِّ الْمَلَذِينَ أُنْزِلَ إلَيْكَ مِنْ 